Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Spotlight tool in Camtasia Studio. So I'm just on my Facebook fan page right now. I just wanted to say hello to you guys. Uh, feel free to add me as a friend um, and send me a message saying where you're from and if, we, if I was able to help you out in any way. Alright, so I'm going to show you an example of what the Spotlight tool in Camtasia can do for you before I actually go into it. So I'm just going to play you a little test video that I created using the Spotlight tool. So right now this is like a picture video of our schedule for our YouTube videos. So we've got videos, uh, Money Mondays, Biz Tip Tuesday. Biz Tip Tuesdays, Video Studio Wednesdays, Thrive Thursdays, and Dream Driven Fridays. So I'll just play the clip right now. So you see how it just went black on the outside and then it highlighted what was on the computer screen. That's how you use the Spotlight tool in Camtasia. That's what it can do for you. So let us head over into Camtasia right now and I'll show you guys how to do this. So you generally want to use this tool when you're wanting to do a spotlight on something on the screen that you're showing, whether it's a screencast or if it's on a picture or something. If you want people's attention to be in a certain area and, and blank out everything else, then that's when you would use a spotlight tool, like how we just did in this photo here. We blanked out everything else, but we wanted your attention to be on the actual schedule. So. In Camtasia, I've got uh, the picture already loaded up in the media and I've put it on the timeline and it's here right now. So when you are ready to use the Spotlight tool, you'd basically make sure that nothing else is highlighted, head over to the Callouts button, click that, then click the this down arrow here, go to the Special area, and if you hover over this, this is the Spotlight tool, so you just click that. So that will pop up here on the right, and you just want to move it to how you'd like your Spotlight to be. So we want it to go around the computer screen, and you'll notice that everything else around it is darker and a little bit blurry, it's out of focus. So when you have what you want, you just leave it like that. I'm going to move it a little bit more to the middle so you guys can see a before and after. And you can also play around, before I play it, you can also play around with the intensity. So the intensity of the uh, blanked out part. So right now it's at 50% and you can go a lot darker to making it black or you can have it just like slightly transparent or that's like nothing, that's completely bright. Um, but you can choose what intensity you'd like. So maybe I'd, I'd like this, I don't want it completely black but I don't want it totally light. So we'll leave it like that and then we'll start from the beginning and we'll press play. You guys can check it out. So there it goes and then it does the spotlight on the actual schedule that I've chosen and then it comes back out. You can also play around with the fade in and the fade out features. So if you don't want it to fade in or fade out and you just want it quite uh, like for it to just pop up and happen, um, I'll show you what that looks like. So we'll just click play and it should be happening right now. So it just it's very abrupt and it just happens and it's there's no fade in. So it's kind of like an on off switch um, that you can do. So you guys can definitely try that out. I mean you guys can do whatever you want with the spotlight feature but it's a really good way to spotlight something on the screen that you want your viewers to pay attention to. So that is this video really simple to do after you've inputted that and you're finished with the rest of your editing, then you would render the video and then you'd have the final cut of it. 
So that's how you do this tip. Really simple to do. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, if you if you have, and you want more video tips, you can check it out here. Video Studio Wednesdays is when I do these types of tutorials. So if you want to know more, every Wednesday I do these types of videos, and you can find the playlist for more of these videos in the description below. If we've helped you out in any way, please let us know by giving us a like, a comment, a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.